Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I have a flip through of a new sticker book that is be, is going to be released um, from Kelva Plan. This one is Planner Words lettered by Kelva Plan. So Heather lettered all the words here in this book and this one is Volume 5, Rainbow Words. Um, so yeah, we're going to flip through this and I'm also going to test these out in a spread like to see how they fit in boxes and stuff so that we can get an idea of like sizing so stay tuned for that after the flip through um but yeah we'll see what words she wrote for this book because i don't think i've had one of her word book well maybe i did um so here's the first page these are all work related so you got work training meeting deadline day off out of office work from home Again, in all of the, oh, in all of the um, rainbow colors here. And these are all clear stickers. I love clear lettered stickers. Those are perfect. All right, so yeah, and then each of these have, um, well, there's two different blues here. The purples look a little bit different too. You got green, yellow, and orange, and red. Okay, and then you do get a black version of the same words, which is nice. There's that one. And then the next one, more like work-related words. So sick day, Zoom meeting, conference, webinar, email, follow-up, and call. And then you have the black version. Next um, is home related stuff. So you got home, laundry, yard work, lawn service, cleaning, day, and the vacuum. And the black ones. And then low dishwasher, unload dishwasher, grocery pickup, garbage day, change AC filter. black ones um, schedule reschedule chores honey do list change sheets pest control oh and I just noticed this there um, some of these are bolder and then some are like a thinner script so you, this one is bold and then this one's thinner I prefer like the thinner ones so I like that there's two options on here Okay, then we got some bigger ones. Um, this one's nice because it's for a currently type of page. So we have currently, looking forward to, grateful for, loving, feeling, um, eating, enjoying, learning about, listening to, watching, crafting in the news, planning, reading, working on. So yeah, if you like doing a currently page, these are great prompts for that page. So there's the colored version and then the black version. Okay, these are like sport related. So we got game, practice, tournament, football, baseball, basketball, soccer. Okay, and then the black ones. Family, kids, camp, daycare, carpool, recital, and softball. More kid related activities on this one. Right. these are budget type of words so we got bills payday mortgage cell phone internet student loans electric black versions rent savings gas insurance subscription renewal and balance checkbook Uh, projects, progress, timeline, due date, declutter, materials needed, and home improvements. So this is like a project type of page here. And this black ones. Um, we have like health ones. So we have health, self-care, exercise, annual physical, gym, and checkup. 
I didn't count how many there are. So two, four, six, eight, um, plus the others. So you get like 16 of these each. All right, there's the black ones. All right, and then we have doctor appointment, pediatrician appointment, dentist appointment, orthodontist appointment, gynecologist appointment, follow-up appointment, and just appointment. Lots of appointments. <laughs> the black page um physical therapy work out take vitamins refill meds massage water tracker okay then that's the black version and then we have like food related ones so taco night pasta night pizza night <laughs> order takeout order groceries grocery shopping grocery list meal plan Lots of words I've never seen before, so that's cool. All right, so that is all of the words that um, are going to be in this Planner Words Lettered by Caleb Plan book, Volume 5. So, yeah, I want to test them out because I actually don't know how her stickers fit in a planner. So I kind of want to try it out. All right, so I got a planner just so I can test these out a little bit. I'm going to test out a few see how they fit all right so we have work and that way you can see like scale wise like how these look in a planner spread I have a vertical spread I want to try out first because I feel like that's the most popular so we'll see okay so these do fit like right in that's the biggest one so that fits nicely there um let's see meeting I'll do this bold one meeting down the line like that okay so yeah those do fit nicely in there I kind of want to find a long one let's see is there a long one Maybe this one, this order groceries. Let's see if I have to grab this one. Try to grab it on camera. I'm gonna pull it off. See how this looks. This little order groceries. Cause this one is definitely longer than that one. So I just wanna see how it fits in here. Oh yeah, it fits very nicely in these vertical sections like that. Okay, so yeah, I feel like that one was like the longest one. I just wanted to see how they fit in the vertical. Um, have these big gym ones. Let's see this yellow one. Gym. So yeah, if you need, um, if you like having like lettered. I don't know how to letter like this kind of stuff and you like this kind of lettering and you want it in your planner and then this is definitely a good option like this one this one's kind of long too this student loan Let's see how this will fit okay so this one definitely fits across it But only that one, I think she only did that one like that because she wanted to fit it here. Whereas these are gonna fit perfectly. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. Like everybody who makes sticker books about maximizing the amount of space um, that they have in the books to fit the most stickers that they can. So that was the only one I feel looked like the longest. Oh, and then these, these currently ones, are good to use. Let's see, let me find. So people usually like to do current ones, like on this page. So you can take this currently. I 
like that all these are clear. That way you can title this page like that. And then you can pick which ones you want to use, or you can use all of them because they're all good prompts. So we have looking forward to, and then you can write what you're looking forward to that month. Um, you can do a feeling and then write what you're feeling, what you're learning, learning about, what you're eating. <laughs> it's like, um, I've, uh, this month I've realized, uh, you know, I like, I like, um, Oh my gosh, I can't find my words. I like Olive Garden. I haven't been to Olive Garden in a very, very long time because I haven't eaten there at the restaurant. And one day I was like craving soup and I just got like the soup and salad to go. And I forgot how good it is. So I think that's gonna be like my my thing when I on Friday is going to Olive Garden. So am I currently, if I did a page like this, it'd be like, I would put here Olive Garden soup, soup and salad and breadsticks, of course, breadsticks. <laughs> but yeah, that's usually like what people do. Cause you know, every month it changes. I, you know, I, last month when I was watching Game of Thrones, uh, I would always get Wingstop. That was like my thing. I would eat Wingstop while I'm watching Game of Thrones. So that's something else I could have put like for last month or, you know, now that Game of Thrones is done um eating wing stuff <laughs> like that kind of stuff watching there's even a watching one so yeah you put what you're watching just to see how things change because you know i do get tired of doing those things after a while and then you want to change it up and you can see like was i still doing the same thing or am i doing something different so that's always fun if you if you never know how to use this page here if it's always like blank just jot down some of the things that you're currently doing. That's a fun way to fill up that space. And then it's cool that there's these little prompts and then you just write in here on your own what you're doing. Okay, and then now that I've done that, that's how you use that. I wanna see how they fit in here. So, let me see. So I probably would like, I feel like this page is a good like appointment type of page. So if you have appointments, like, a doctor's appointment you know you could stick this in the monthly you can you could put it in a box and then put it in the monthly like you can grab just a regular black box or a black or you can grab a box like this and then we'll grab dentist appointment and then you can stick that in there. So you can put them in boxes too, which is nice. They fit very nicely in the boxes where you could just put them like that in the spread. Okay, so yeah, they do fit nicely. They're, they're sized nicely in here. And then another thing I would use in this section is like the, um, these stickers right here for like things that are due. So you have like, electric when your electric is due you can put that again in a box or you can just put it here and then just put the amount underneath it you know however you want to use it but yeah i just kind of wanted to show like how they look in the planner spreads so that way you have an idea of the sizing and how they look in the planner you know and you just write you know your total or whatever the amount is i like drawing arrows that kind of stuff but that's how I would use them. All right, so that's gonna be it. That is Planner Words, lettered by Kelva Plan. I will have this link down in the description um, and it will be an affiliate link if you wanna use it, I'd appreciate it. Um, that's gonna be it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this little plan or the plan with me, flip through. If you wanna see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you all in the next one.